Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this. Today is Thursday, November 19th. I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, Thanksgiving is in one week from today. So, cool. Uh, so, uh, probably the smartest person I've ever met uh, was Susan Sontag. Not to say that we knew each other. I don't think my name was even brought up. This was a casual meeting when I, back when I lived in New York City. But nonetheless, um, even at the height of her decline, close to her death, she was uh, an intellectual tower. Um, and I probably met her at her weakest as well. I mean, even from when she was 16 years old and she wrote books about Freud and psychoanalysis, she was always just a towering intellectual. And she once said that we're always talking about ourselves when we talk of anything else. And um, man, it's so true. Uh, you know, even as, as simple an analysis as why you say what you say, what motivates you, what informs the decision to make that utterance is all a reflection about your past and what you've read and what you've been exposed to and what you think and what you value, what you prioritize. It all feeds into and informs every single utterance. But yet there's, um, there's even more that is just a reflection of yourself. And how does this deal with real estate? I mean, it's obvious how it deals with our lives, but how does it deal with real estate? Well, here's what I wanna talk about. I spend a lot of time on the weekly reports talking about how a lot of these houses have had sellers which are, let's not call them lazy, but let's just say they're not prioritizing updating or cleaning, things that would make the house more attractive to buyers. But there's the other side, other type of seller, the one that is too involved, too willing to update, too willing to specialize, uh, too willing to make the house a reflection of themselves. Now, that's not a bad thing. If, if that makes you comfortable living in that environment, living in a house that you have modified, that you put a lot of labor, a lot of love, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears, a lot of blood, um, then by all means do it. But just know that the more work you do, that there's at some point not only diminishing returns, but also decreasing returns when it comes to the ability to sell the house. In real estate, we call that specificity, when the house is just too specific. And there are always pictures floating around the internet. You know, Lately, there's one about um, a kitchen where all the cabinets are painted purple, the tiling on the counter and the floor, even matching thread, matching grains, they're all purple lace. And it's just a really ugly kitchen unless you really like purple. And honestly, I don't think anyone except uh, Prince, rest in peace Prince, I don't think even he would appreciate purple that much. But that, that kitchen is very specific to the owner. And while they were living in it, I'm sure they were very happy, but trying to sell it afterwards becomes an issue. And you know, it's something that you need to toe the line on as a home owner that specificity can actually be a bad thing. And so again, you know, a real estate agent, someone who deals with real estate can help you with that. If you, if you were to approach me and say, hey, Travis, I'm thinking of painting the kitchen purple and the countertops and the tile, I would have stopped you. I would have stopped you at the cabinets. I would have said purple. Purple is not going to resell. Um, fortunately though, it's paint, it's easy to fix by all means, paint it if you want. But when you start doing the counters and the tiling on the floor in purple grain marble as well, now we're looking at uh, something that's gonna diminish your resale value and or the ability, the ease of resale. And so it's just another example of how a real estate agent can save you some money. Um, even if you didn't even think that a real estate agent would be useful in that way. Plus, you know, I might know some people who are willing to do the tile work or the counter work for cheaper than you do as well. You know, we our jobs are to solve your problems. So come to us and say, hey, I've got this issue. And if we can't solve it, maybe we know someone who can. Um, yeah, so we're here to help. And all that comes without a charge. You know, our our we hope that when you go to sell and or buy that you will remember us, but, um, that doesn't change that there's no charge for my advice. Um, yeah, and now I like to think my advice is worth something. If you think my advice is worth something, if you think this video is worth something, then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get more of my advice. Um, if you don't think it was worth something, then by all means, leave a comment and tell me. But remember, when you write your comments and you're telling me whatever it is you want to tell me, you are actually telling me about yourself. That's the wisdom of Susan Sontag.
All right, that's all I got for this Thursday. Um, yeah, I hope you go out and enjoy this beautiful weather wherever you are. I'm sure it's just as beautiful as it is here in Montgomery. No, it's not. It's really beautiful here. So, yeah, you should come to Montgomery and enjoy our weather. In any case, take care. I love you.